Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your first ever set of numerology videos with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. Uh, as many of you know I do weekly tarot readings, monthly tarot readings, uh, I also do a numerology live stream each month as well to set you up for the month ahead. Uh, as you, many of you know me from the Life Path series that I put out which I cannot thank you all enough, like I was completely, I'm still actually completely blown away at how popular it's been, how many view counts they have, it's still really strange to me because when I was doing it, I was just doing it as a labour of love um, and I've learned so much more since then as well. So uh, don't forget, if you haven't seen it, there is a video that will show you how to calculate your life path number, that will be floating around up here somewhere. There's also a video to help you calculate your personal year number, which is a very important vibration for you to know. So there's also a video uh, for you to find out how to do that as well. Be sure to check those out so that you can really get into these videos and use this information for the best for your, uh, you know, for the, your path ahead for the month. So with that said, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button if you are uh, continued subby of mine you know I absolutely love you and thank you so much for being a part of the radiant reality community so we get into it August 2021 is a universal four month right so some of you are probably like if you know numerology at least a little bit some of you are probably like oh my gosh here we go uh, for all of you you will probably remember for those of you that have been with me long enough you will remember the the uh, numerology video that I put out at the start of 2020 which was a true four year uh, lots of people postulated being a 22 it wasn't a 22 year I can assure you it was a four year um, I'm not going to debate that that's the way that I experience it. That's the way that I feel it was with the, what I know of numerology. Uh, so we're going to get straight into it. So what is for? I've got my trusty notes here. <laughs> Always got notes. You guys know me by now. Um, so four is a slow energy. It's slow, grounded and determined. Um, it's a number of structure. It's a number of order. And so this month really asks us all to be or invites us all to work inside the parameters of what we know, of what we understand, what we can do really well. Four is grounded and practical and it's structured. This is the order of the energy of order. It is, four is all about the manifest world. It's about the tangible, the physical, it's about the material. It's a very slow moving energy. So this month, I mean, which, you know, considering it's Leo season isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, one of the things that I really like about this actually is it will allow us to enjoy the summer. It will allow us to just really experience the best of what we can. Um, providing we don't swim against the tide or try to fight the energy. That's the thing with four energy. If you try to force something, it will push back. And as we've already all seen, right, the universal energy is bigger than we are. Now, that be said, being said, uh, I've got here, this can be an amazing month to see results, but can also be a month that requires you to stand firm on what you have promised to deliver. So this is kind of the long and short of it, right? The number four is very linked to the energy of integrity, honesty. Uh, so whatever you promise you're going to do this month, you're gonna have to show up for it. This is why in the, uh, in the month of August, you want to under promise and over deliver. If you do it the other way around, you will be held accountable. Four and six energy tend to be very much like that. Like you can't get away with throwing a comment out. Oh, oh yeah, you know, I'll totally be there and I'll do that. Like it will hold you accountable. So if you say you're gonna do something, be prepared to show up in that way. If you do show up in the way that you say you're going to, the rewards and the blessings can be absolutely wonderful, which is great. Now, uh, for energy, I've got to be really honest with you, it doesn't fuck around. So like I said, you've got to be in your integrity, you've got to stand tall, you've got to be honest, you've got to be open about what is possible, what you're prepared to do, what you're prepared to give, and you need to follow through on that. 
Um, what I will say as well, you've got to come up with the goods, right? If you're planning to do something this month, a solid plan, being organized, those things are going to be paramount for you this month if you really want to get ahead. Uh, one of the things that I will say about this energy as well, you gotta come up with the goods. If you're planning to cut corners, uh, if you're planning to try to pull the wool over somebody's eyes or you know, wing it here and there, it will catch you and trust me, <laughs> when four energy catches you out, it's usually quite public. So, or at least for, for, you know, for somebody to witness. So if you don't want that experience, you'll have to forgive me, I'm currently melting. It's so hot here in the UK. But hey, I ain't complaining. We've got sunshine. Uh, it's good, right? Um, but it will catch you out. So what I've said to everybody is, Grab yourself by the boobs or grab yourself by the balls and get on with it. You've got to dig in, you've got to dig deep and you've got to be prepared to work. That is what this month is asking you to do. Uh, it's a powerful energy for getting ahead, absolutely. Uh, it can be a month where you can build a very solid foundation for whatever dreams, goals, hopes, wishes you have going forward. So the energy of the number four, if you've been with me long enough, you'll know I will have said this to you. It can literally be a box where you like that holds you prisoner or holds you captive. And it's usually a box of your own making, or it can be a step or a platform to get you to where you want to be next, right? So use that to your best advantage. Now that you have that information, plan accordingly. Um, what are the characteristics of this energy are uh, direct, focused, and linear. When you think about a square, it's, you know, it's lines, right? It's straight lines. It is clear. It's defined. It doesn't have, you know, there's nothing wishy-washy. Four energy is you are either in or you are out. There's no uh, room for, um, there's room for negotiation based on plans, Absolutely, based on organization, yes, absolutely. But if you're hoping to wing it, you know, just chuck it in there and see how it goes, no, 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 no. Uh, it's practical, realistic, and grounded, right? So all of these things are buzzwords this week, this month. And if you're the sort of person that's usually like, yeah, you know, I'll just see how it goes, you might struggle this month, um, especially because the external world is gonna demand more specificity from you. Um, all right, so it's determined, disciplined, and dedicated. And it's interesting that those words come up with the four energy because the letter D corresponds to the number four. So, um, <laughs> right, it makes sense. Discipline, determination, uh, you know, uh, dedication, all of these things. Uh, it's also a number that provides the energy of drudgery, honesty, and integrity. There's nowhere to hide with a number four. It's just like a square, right? You know, if one line is kind of bowed or a little bit out or, you know, goes off at an angle, it's no longer a square. That's why when you think about the energy of the number four, it's precise, you know, it's precise, it's specific. And this month you have to be those things with yourself and with any of your endeavors. Um, so, the questions that you need to ask yourself, are your plans solid? Are you organized? Do you know where everything goes, where it belongs? Do you have a good idea of what the end goal or result actually looks like for you? Um, do they have weight or are they pie in the sky? And this vibration is going to highlight that to you this month, so basically buckle up. It's not a bad month. There's no such thing as that kind of energy. It's not whether it's good or bad. It's about how you utilize it and how you internalize and then externalize that, uh, that information or that energy. So yes, it's gonna depend on your life path number, how you approach this. It will depend on your uh, your upbringing, your growth, your mindset. It's going to depend on your astrology. It's going to depend on all of these things. But when you think about each one of these systems, tarot, astrology, numerology, um, you know, energy work, like they're all slices of what make up the whole you. And so each one of these pieces of information that I give you is giving you a different insight into how things are gonna affect you specifically. All right, so with that said, let's get into your personal life path messages. Take care and I'll see you in a moment. Hi welcome to. So uh, this month, this, uh, life path nine, uh, so when, um, Hello, you wonderful Life Path 9 person. 
welcome to. So uh, this month, you are going to want to consider more of what you want and what you desire. You're naturally very kind, you're extremely humanitarian, you care deeply for others, and so it tends to see you doing whatever you think is gonna be best for everybody involved, which is such a wonderful way to be, and if there were more of that energy in the world, it would really be a better place. But, that being said, this month you've got to get self-centered. This month you've got to get selfish. You've got to think about what you want, what you desire, where you want to take things. Um, this is going to be, because uh, it kind of goes against the energy of, of what you're used to, right? But you're, as that humanitarian, you need to remember you're a part of the collective. So you're one of the humans that you're here to serve. This month I give you permission and I challenge you to give yourself permission to go after what you want, to make what you think is important for you, important to you, all right? Um, one of the things that I will say to you when it comes to the love life, uh, you'll need to consider in a relationship uh, as you consider your work. So this means, this isn't, and that's not to say like make it boring or, you know, you have it has to be regimented and at this time we eat dinner and at this time we go to sleep and at this time we make love. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't have to be that, but you have to get serious about your relationship. What in the external world is encroaching on your partnership, on your relationship? Is it your friends? Is it your partner's friends? Uh, is it your family? Is it the in-laws? Is it the mother-in-law? Like whatever or whoever it is that is getting in the way of the relationship this month, you've got to limit that, right? You've got to get self-centered and say, no, my relationship, my partnership, my connection comes first. Everything and everyone else comes second to that, um, which I think is, is really important for you this month. Um, uh, also, um, you know, uh, what I've put here is uh, just because you're approaching your relationship as, as you would approach your work so seriously doesn't mean you have to sleep with your boss. <laughs> I was clearly feeling on point when I was writing my notes. Uh, one of the other things here as well, um, make your partner and your love life a priority, right? As, as much as you give to everything else. If you're single and look in, um, what are you prepared to give in relationships to make them work? And uh, I think that's gonna be more of the energy that you put out this month. Like, I am available for love. You know, I'm available for a relationship. I'm not all about other people all of the time. And so, you know, because sometimes when people see that, it can be like, okay, so if I'm in a relationship with you, is it just always going to be about what your family needs and what these people need and da-da-da-da? Do you know what I mean? Like you, sometimes when you send that signal, it's like, you don't, I don't want to date you because there's no room in your life for me. Is that the situation or the energy that you're sending? This month, you'll be very aware of that. When it comes to your money and your uh, your resources, you're going to have to knuckle down this month. Uh, you might want to start considering what you need to do to get more money, uh, to or rather to get the money that you have to work harder for you. Check in with a financial advisor this month um, if you want to start investing or you know dipping into crypto and stuff. This would be a great month to do the research. It would be a great month to do the foundation work. Um, but it would also be the best, the best way to do this would be to get the inside track. So check in with somebody that knows what they're do doing. Don't just go off half cocked, have a plan in place. Um, for work this month, uh, your hard work really pays off and shows you, uh, and it shows when you complete things. You might find that this month a lot of things do come full circle or full cycle. Um, it means that you're really in a place to get the job done. Maybe seeing things through at work or with a project on the go really increases your earning power. So this is the incentive, right? If you want more money and you want to, you know, make more bank, get the things that you've got, the projects that you've got on the go, get them finished. That's where the money is going to come from. Um, also, if you're looking for work, I would uh, get into the idea that uh, you can of what you can do to assist others in completing their tasks or closing deals. So, basically, make yourself indisposable. Right, indispensable this month is going to be really important. Uh, so for your best steps, slow, steady and determined is going to win the race this month. Make a solid plan and run it by your support system. So if you've got something that's on the go and you're like, right, I can get this finished this month if I do this, this and this. Check in with a friend, check in with a colleague, check in with a peer, check in with a boss, check in with your partner. 
by checking in with other people, that fresh pair of eyes and, or perspective is gonna be invaluable this month and could highlight to you what you're not seeing or what you might miss. Um, right, but the final say must be yours and you have to be willing to stand your ground, right? Again, I challenge you to challenge yourself not to be swayed by somebody else's opinion this month. And then finally, for your warning, don't get bogged down and don't be too giving or too compromising. Four as an energy is unyielding, uncompromising, it's rigid and stubborn and sometimes hard. This month you need to be really bringing more of that energy in, all right? You gotta instill that into yourself somehow. Uh, give yourself time to get into what you really need. Be prepared to fight for what you want. Four is a challenging energy, right? And so if you want something this month, you might have to fight for it. And you'll be really glad that you did and actually very proud of yourself for doing so. I would really get into that energy. Um, and sit in it for a while because it might help you across the board in life. Your new moon message is the gate 23 and assimilate. So the new moon is gonna show you what your biggest goal or dream is and can be. And it's gonna be up to you to put the plan in place to make it so. And your full moon message is the gate 21 and control. With the owl on there, the full moon is really hinting at you understanding where it is that you are more in command than you give yourself credit for and actually sometimes the wisest thing is to focus on ourselves rather than the external or rather than somebody else that's going to be the best use right we control nothing outside of ourselves we only control ourselves and our inner resources and this month where you are prone to spend all of your inner resources on others you need to spend them on yourself all right with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff let me know in the comments do you love it do you loathe it um what do you think about it all right <laughs> do you love these do you want more of them take care and i'll see you soon